The new fiscal year started in October, but Fairhope is still operating off of 2017 budget numbers and will continue to do so until a new budget is passed. The overall budget comes in right now at about $60 million, but roughly half of that is Fairhope Utilities portion. The discrepancy lies in the city's portion, which shows a $4 million increase over last year's budget. One of the things I mentioned in the meeting is a $26 million revenue with a nearly $30 million expense. And just so, so trying to, to get your mind around that $4 million, what appears to be a $4 million deficit. Fairhope Mayor Karen Wilson says what she presented is a strategic budget that allowed for department heads to put in items to be decided upon later. Personnel and capital purchases make up the majority of the $4 million discrepancy. Wilson says purchasing or leasing new vehicles and equipment will cut back on the million plus dollars the city spends on maintenance annually. She says there will be many ways to make up money through personnel also. Sometimes it's an overtime. Sometimes it's in, you know, the things that we're contracting out. Um, but most important, you can't put a dollar amount on inefficiency. And we are, unfortunately, because of our short staff, we are running things very inefficiently. Wilson says the city has the same number of employees as it did in 2010, while the population has grown by 28% in the same amount of time. Councilman Jay Robinson says the mayor's asking for a lot of trust and a leap of faith in order for the council to accept her proposed budget. There's a lot of, of, of expected or hoped cost savings that are, if we spend this money, we're going to save that. And, that, and just looking at the raw numbers, you're looking at a, a, almost a $4 million increase in expenses without an increase in, in revenue. Mayor Wilson doesn't look at the discrepancy the same way. This small difference in the scope of a over $60 million budget is just that, small. Reporting from Fairhope, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.